if you think about it, drugs for street use are just plain bad in all ways, in every way. There's no good ending to that, except for weed. Weed is great. You know, it, it, the worst thing about weed is this, is it just makes you lazy worthless. <laughs> I mean, I've looked and studied and asked people and doctors and all that, and, and the worst, they, they say it's addictive. Well, I'm not so sure about that. It just makes you lazy worthless. You know, there's a great commercial in the 70s against pot, and the guy's mother's yelling at him, you know, and he's up in his room twisting a a duber with a couple of his buddies, you know, it's 12 o'clock in the daytime. Johnny, have you gone out looking for a job today? Like, yeah, mom, I'm going in a minute. And they roll up another one and smoke a little bit, you know. It, uh, here's the thing about weed. It enhances your senses, like in food and music, those two things, right? I'm not so sure about the sex thing. Maybe, I don't know, I'm just not sure about that, but you know, never heard any evidence promoting yay or nay on that. But you can't go to a concert without weed and a beer because it just makes it better. You're losing out. You're missing out by not going with a beer or some weed. You know, an old friend of mine once looked at me, you know, cause I, you know, I all sobered up many, many years ago and all that kind of thing. And an uh, old friend of mine once looked at me and said, what, can't you enjoy a concert straight? And no, <laughs> I, I can't, you know, never, no, I, I can't, they're fine. You know, that's the, you go to shows and they're great. You know, and, but now you just go totally straight and they're fine and they're good, you know, good at best, you know, but they're always great when you were under the influence, you know. You just don't know what you're missing if you haven't seen a show with a pot buzz. It's just a buzz, man. It's just a natural thing. It's just a buzz. It's just a nice little buzz and it enhances your senses. It's great. And it's fun rolling joints, you know. You got to make one perfect. Make it look like a cigarette, you know, and, it, and it, you know, put a filter in it if you want to, but nah decreases the effect but when you're good you can roll up a perfect one in 30 seconds boom 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 sh sh done you know and then you got to share it you know because that was the 70s line of thinking don't bogart that joint my friend pass it on over to me as little feet once saying you got to share you know so weed enhances the concerts definitely and 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 the other drugs make you feel good but they don't enhance the concert only your mood see what i mean does that make any sense you know and if you think about it, the whole weed thing is really funny. It's just, weed is funny. Look at Cheech and Chong, you know, and, and bloodshot eyes. You know, that's funny, you know. And the munchies. You know, every comedian makes a stale joke about it. marijuana and the munchies and the bloodshot eyes. And driving 20 miles below the speed limit, you know. <laughs> and forgetting what you just said. Buddies and I always laugh. What was I saying, man? And <laughs> we'd always laugh. You know, and dozing off, you know. See, it's just funny and fairly harmless. I have policemen friends. And wh who would you rather arrest, someone that's high on pot or someone who's drunk? And you <laughs> no question. Here's a song that Jim Stafford did. In the Hit it, boys! 70s. And it's fun. <laughs> it's a Blade Radio show. Well, the wildwood flower grew wild on the farm. We never know what it's called. Some said it's a flower and some said it's a weed, and I never really gave it much thought. One day I was out there talking to my brother, reached down for a weed to chew on. Things got fuzzy and things got blurry, and then everything is gone. I didn't know what happened, but I knew it beat the heck out of sniffing burlap. <laughs> 